Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on the new ColourPop Sol y Mar collection and I'm not even going to explain my eyes. There's no explanation. This is what happened today. I got these and this is what happens whenever you get so excited about something new that you get in the mail and you're like, okay, let me slap everything on my face. That's exactly what happened today. I'm not sorry. I really like the way that it turned out. This is the new uh, ColourPop collection and they probably already have one in like five minutes because they always come out with new collections. And this time they came out with four highlighters, some lip tints, as well as these two palettes. And I'm going to be showing you the swatches to everything. Okay, so for the demo, I do not have the, the wave, the blue side, just because I wasn't going to film this. This was only going to be the Mar demo. And then uh, I decided not to do the wave on this side because I felt like I was going to have two separate waves going opposite direction. And yeah, I could do that, but that's not how the ocean works. <laughs> so I decided to not do that. And then I was like, okay, I could do the wave going this way too. And then I didn't. I was like, I'm just going to use the other palette and do the sun. I mean, come on, that makes sense, right? The sun and the ocean. Perfect. Sorry for the long intro. But I mean, there was things that needed to be said. So um, I'm going to show you the clip only to the sun part. This sun is more of a playing around with with different colors. It wasn't really like a step-by-step -step tutorial, a step-by-step -step demo. I pretty much just used all the colors as I needed to create a sun that I liked. So I went back and forth with so many, I won't be showing you every single thing. But you can take a look at some of the shades that I did use. So I used a very, very light orange and this one is called Dynamite and I applied that all over the transition area. And I went in with the Neon Orange and this one is called O. Or O O O. I don't know. It has three O's and a star. I don't know why. Maybe they forgot to name it. Um, but it's this neon color down here on the bottom. And it's a very, very pretty shade. It shows up really nice on the eyes. Like, it really does look neon. I was very happy with it. You can see it on my eyes. And after I used that shade, I did a cut crease. And I filled in the cut crease with the shimmery orange shade that's in here it is such a beautiful shade i didn't even have to wet it nothing like that it's really it has a lot of um it has a lot of fallout but i didn't have to wet it in order for me to see the shimmeriness the shimmeriness the shimmeriness of the eyeshadow like i didn't have to wet it it was a really nice color on its own i do end up wetting it later on like later on almost towards the end so that way it can give me more of a glow because I feel like some of it faded after blending all these things together but at first I did not wet it I didn't use anything like that and then um, I also did an eyeliner and I and I did it with concealer and then I topped it with the neon orange shade in there so yeah I mean there's just so many steps I also did the little lines with concealer and then I put the light shade there and then I put a shimmery shade in there so I used so many colors you guys that there is no way for me to actually explain it to you I also went ahead and I used eyeliner because I felt like there was no depth in the eye I don't know it just looked kind of weird and it does look kind of weird because I have a I have a wing I have black eyeliner liquid eyeliner on this eye and I don't have any on this eye then from this one I used that's the blue one the one that I have below the wave like underneath the wave like the cut crease and then I filled in the wave with this shade right here which is the the middle shade it's like a teal shimmery teal shade it's very very pretty I have that all over the eyelid and then on the tip of the waves, so that way it wasn't like, the way it wasn't all one color, I used the green one, the shimmery green one here at the bottom. I was honestly going to do a simple look, but then it turned into something else. I was like, I'm not going to do a simple look with this palette. I want to use the blue shades in here. And then I also used this little one on the brow bone, but then I went over that part with a highlighter as well. So I mean, I have just random different colors on my eyes of course these this is not an everyday look this is not a look that everyone's gonna use but my point was to use the eyeshadows and try them out and tell you about them so here are the swatches to the sol palette and the reason that it's this combination i'm sure you guys know already but it's because sol means sun if you didn't know it does there aren't any yellows in here which i expected there to be whenever i saw that it was going to be a sol y mar collection that there would be at least one yellow but there's no yellow I know that's weird right um, I did use the browns on the bottom to make it look like it was like sand but I had already used that neon orange so 
I kind of messed that part up. But yeah, that's the weird thing. They didn't have any yellow in the palette, which I wish they would have. I felt like that would complete this little palette. I feel like that's a shade that's missing in here. We needed a yellow in there, ColourPop, but we just did. But yeah, the swatches, they look kind of powdery, especially the matte ones. The shimmery ones don't look powdery. Those are really nice. They swatch really nice and they're very soft. But the matte ones, I feel like they look very powdery and they do swatch very powdery. But on the eyes, they blend out smoothly. So I'm very happy with them. I do have... Uh, some matte ones from the previous collection that they came out with for summer that the festival collection or something like that and the mattes are the same like they swatch kind of powdery but on the eyes they perform nicely so I feel like it's the same thing like it's the same formula and then these are the swatches for the matte palette again the the matte ones swatch not very good they look kind of powdery especially the blue one it does not swatch good at all but on the eyes it looks fine I mean I used it all over the transition area at first to do the outline of the wave and I like it like it's a nice shade it shows up it looks super super blue I really like the way that that blue looks on the eyes not on the swatch and then I feel like in this palette maybe a shimmery light blue would have been good like a shimmery sky blue or a shimmery just like a light baby blue or something like that I feel like that would have been nice I mean I feel like it, it goes I mean there's some neutrals in there kind of like sand or like shells or just I don't know whatever but I mean that's what the palettes are called so I mean it's kind of like a theme so you would think there would be a little bit more but both of the palettes do have some very shim shimmer similar browns in there not everybody's gonna buy both palettes so I see why they went ahead and they put browns because I feel like that's very comfortable that will sell like people will feel like okay you know it does have some browns it has some neutrals i can use it on a regular basis if i wanted to not everybody buys both palettes so i totally understand that part since it's a summer collection or it's a themed collection maybe just something else you know just something a little bit different it's not your typical neutral palette so i would have liked to see a light blue color in here and also a yellow color in here okay so moving on to the highlighters they came in these little coral coral uh boxes and there are four of them in this line the first one in the swatch right here is the white one it's the white highlighter this one is called showtime and it has a little bit of a pink shift to it if you have the anastasia dream palette or if you've seen it i i have a video on that one a lot of the highlighters are, I think all of the highlighters have a pink to it. And this is what this reminds me of. Now, all these other ones, well, I feel like all four of them are very wearable on me. But I feel like these other ones are a little bit more wearable for everyone because not everybody wants a pink glow. My little hairs right here are growing out. They're like everywhere. I have like this little cowlick right here in the center of my forehead. And all my little hairs is like a little... Um, one of those spiders with the long legs. Yeah, that's what this looks like right here This one is the champagne highlighter. This is the second one right here on the swatches. This one to me is very wearable It's the one that I have on the high points of my cheeks on my nose on my cupid's ball It's the one that I'm wearing today pretty much all over my face And it's one of those champagne type of highlighters that a lot of people love a lot of people can use And it's one that a lot of brands already have like that shade is it's the ones that a lot of brands already have and then the next one looks a little bit yellowy but it looks like a little bit yellowy in the pan but in the swatch it looks beautiful this one i have not used it so i don't know what to say on how it looks on my face but they swatch very very creamy all of these do so they feel really nice and whenever i swatch them they were super soft and they all seem to have the same texture it's not like big chunky glitter or anything like that this one is called thimble and then the last one is beautiful in the swatch. I thought it was going to be too dark for me. This one is called Parasol. And it looks very bronzy and beautiful. Like it is so pretty. And the swatch you can tell right there that it just looks very, very nice and like bronzy. Like if you were in the sun at the beach for a while and you got this bronze glow. That's exactly what that looks like. I can't wait to wear it. It's a very nice shade. And then lastly, I got the three lipsticks. Well, these are the Ultra Blotted Lip. They're supposed to look more like a stain, and they they do. Like, I've never used a lipstick like this. This is my first time buying lip blotted lipsticks from ColourPop. I don't know if they have any more, but they came out with three. This one is called Ocean Avenue, and that's the one that I'm wearing right now. It is a bright 
bright red, pink, coral. It is just so, so pretty. And it does look like a stain. It's kind of transparent. I can kind of see my lips underneath, but not in a bad way. Like, it looks really nice and it looks like a stain. And it also lasts for a long time, but it's not 100%. Like, it's going to last you all day. I did eat before filming this video. Like, after I did my makeup, I ate, and then now I'm filming this. And it did come off, so I did reapply it, and it was just too much. It was kind of like crumbling off, so I had to take it off. You know what the lipstick looks like? It kind of looks like whenever you apply lipstick, and then you pat it on a napkin. Like, you put your lips together on a napkin and take some off. That's what this looks like. It's like a very pretty stain. So yeah, I would say take it off completely and then reapply it if you want to do that. And then this one is really, really wearable. I haven't worn it though, but here in the swatches you can tell. This one is called a Vitamin C. Very wearable shade and I feel like it's going to look like a very nice stain. As if it were like my lip color, but, but like even all over my lips. And I think that one's going to look really nice. And then this one is a cool toned mauve shade. This one is called Soda Pop. And I actually had applied this on the center of my lips at first. And you couldn't really see it on top of this bright red, so I mean, I just kind of covered it up again with another bit of this. But it does look really pretty. It's kind of like a purpley, dark purple stain, and I think that that looks really pretty. So that is pretty much it. That's the entire new collection called Sol y Mar by Colourpop, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow they will have another collection coming out. I'm just totally kidding, you guys. It's just that they always have new palettes coming out. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time here, I hope you subscribe so that we don't miss out on future videos. I do have the new ones as well if you want to check those out and I hope you come back because I will be reviewing more new stuff that's coming out if there's anything that you would like to see please let me know in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video bye the point for me was to use the eyeshadows and to tell you so I hope you guys enjoyed this video video I missed the D and video